So welcome to today's episode of Beta Bully. Now for today's episode, I'm going to be showcasing off some never before seen beta screenshots. And how did I get these beta screenshots, some of you may be wondering? Well, they're in this guide. That's right, the Brady Games official strategy guide for Bully. Believe it or not, this guide actually does contain quite a bit of beta info. So let's cut the crap and get right onto it. So we'll start off today's video by talking about the beta hood. And let's get all the boring stuff out of the way first. Like the font. The font here is completely different. To me it appears to be a bit more rough and jagged. And there doesn't appear to be an outline on the text either. And it also looks a little bit bigger. At least to me. Secondly, Russell's name on his health bar during his boss fight is in all capital letters. So that's the more boring stuff, let's get on to the more interesting stuff. Now this is a recurring thing throughout the guide. But when the player locks onto an NPC, for some reason, the game would display a middle finger icon. Now, I don't know if this is the beta hood icon for the thumbs down icon, or if this was a beta feature, you know, say like, Jimmy had the ability to actually flip people off, you know, be it through completing English class or something like that. The bottle rocket launcher also had a completely different heads up display icon. I also believe this guide shows off a completely different design for the bottle rocket launcher. It may have been a two shot weapon as opposed to a three shot weapon before Jimmy reloads. The hood icon used for the fist is also completely different as it doesn't appear to be as detailed as it is in the final game. According to this image, which I believe is one of the more interesting beta screenshots that are in this guide, it claims that the pathway to the observatory in Stronghold Assault, there was actually going to be a lake, if that makes sense. Like if we look at the minimap here and compare it to the one in the final game, we can clearly see that something was going to be here and I believe it may have been a lake. But as we can also tell in this image, the minimap is off since it puts the player in the middle of this lake, but we can see there is no water here. So this makes me think that maybe in the beta, the player may have had to actually swim across this lake or watch where they tread on the other side. And if we look at the map very up close, we can see a brown spot. Note how it actually appears to cover the lake just a little bit. So I wonder if this may have been a sniper's nest or a blockade forcing the player to either swim or take the other path. And most of you have probably noticed this by now, but there's also two class icons on screen. Why is that? Well, I believe this may have actually been a beta bug, since I highly doubt Rockstar intended two classes to be playable at the same time, especially since this would screw up the player's stat page for attendance. In the final game, Jimmy has the ability to pinch girls' asses, but this image may suggest that this wasn't in the game yet, or it is, but it lacks a hood icon, since whoever the player targets, there will always be something the player can do with the circle burn, be it taunting or shoving, but here we can also see there is no hood icon here. According to the guide, English and Chemistry class had a few minor changes. The guide says that upon completing Chemistry 4, the player would be rewarded with the ability to make bottle rockets from the chemistry set in Jimmy's room. However, this was changed and replaced with the full ammo for the stuff Jimmy can make, which are the stink bombs, firecrackers and itching powder. This was most likely changed since the player can complete Chemistry 4 before Chapter 3 which is the earliest time the player can acquire the bottle rocket launcher, rendering the reward for completing chemistry 4 completely useless until the player beats nerd challenge or reaches chapter 4. Now here's some changes about English class. Upon beating English 1, rather than having Russell serve as our tutorial guide, we had Konstantinos being our buddy for English class 1. Secondly, I think it's English 4, but rather than have the ability to taunt from a greater distance, Jimmy could humiliate his opponents from a greater distance. I don't mean the whole red thumbs down thing, but I mean actually bullying them, like they were on low health. Most of English 4's post-class tutorial changed a bit too. Here it says you can humiliate opponents from a greater distance, while in the final game it says you can now deal with bullies from a distance. Now sadly, this guide didn't have any details about the beta boys dorm with two floors. Anyway, we do have some information about the earlier version of the boys dorm, which only had one floor and this is about the trophies Jimmy had in his room. If we look here, we can see a blue vest. In the final game, this is actually Russell's shirt, which Jimmy gets after beating Russell in the hole. If you've followed Beta Bully, you'll know that this blue vest is actually part of the Beta Bully's outfit, as they all wore blue vests like Jimmy did. However, when this guide was made, none of the bullies are actually wearing a blue vest, so this guide may have been made a short time after the bullies had a design change. Secondly, is this poster. In the final game, the poster is of Zoe and a rock band. However, in this build of the game, the poster is very different. It doesn't even look like it's for a rock band poster. And it's very hard to make out the text on the image, sadly. Thirdly, is the pair of girls underwear Jimmy gets for beating Panty Road. In this build, they're positioned right next to Jimmy's bed. But in the final game, they're positioned in the middle of all the portraits Jimmy gets of girls. 
Some of you may already know this from this pre-release screenshot, so this may seem like old news to you, but the guide actually has three screenshots of the beta safe house. Nothing too exciting however, but we can see quite a few changes. Our first change is this graffiti behind Lucky, which isn't there in the final game, instead it's been replaced with an image of someone playing pool instead. The second screenshot is very close to the wall, and another very minor change to the building is that there doesn't appear to be any cobwebs on the ceiling. Our third and final screenshot is Jimmy shooting an unidentifiable greaser with a bottle rocket launcher. Once again, nothing too special here. I don't know why, but these images make me think of Swag's beta build they had, well, before we ruined it. Since this build is a later version, I wonder if the beta version Swag used to have actually had the beta greaser safe house on it. Another boring part, but during The Candidate, there are no posters for Ted or Ernest around the school, but instead Halloween decorations are scattered across the academy. In the actual game, Halloween decorations are not seen until the player beats this mission. Now this might not be a beta change, but the guide actually refers to Bullworth as Bullworth City. No one refers to Bullworth as a city, but it could just be an oversight from the authors. The bus stops in this guide are red and white, as opposed to black and yellow. Now I noticed this while actually editing the video, but for some reason, on the images for the candidate, Ernest's name is spelt differently. It's not spelled E-A-R-N, it's spelled E-R-N, which is the more traditional way of spelling Ernest. So it could be an oversight, or it could be a last minute change, since subtitles are probably the easiest thing to change in these games. And just in the case that it is an actual beta change and Ernest's name was spelt differently, it could have been changed due to a conflict with Ernest Jones, the jewellers, which is based in the UK. In Busting In Part 2, once the player has been to the train yard, the attacking townies would be behind barricades. According to the guide, you would either be ambushed upon jumping the barricade, or you can take them out with your super slingshot since the top of the heads are barely visible. And these barricades aren't used at all in the final game. This might be because of the similarities with Stronghold Assault. For our last image analysis, we have a minor mission change in Finding Johnny Vincent. According to this guide, the C block was going to have two very violent inmates who would attack Jimmy and Johnny when they're escaping from the asylum, right after Jimmy lifts up the gate to the C block. Note how there's also an image of Otto in the C block here, but sadly we don't know who the other inmate would be. In the final game, after lifting the gate, it's clear sailing for Jimmy and Johnny, since they can escape unhindered. But this may also explain why we have Johnny as an ally during the mission, since in the final version, unless the player assaults Johnny, he never loses any health and there's no threats to him or the player. So why was this removed? Well, it might be because the player being forced to fight mentally unwell patients could be considered controversial. But then again, the player does have the option to do that after freeing Johnny anyway, so I don't know. So that's it for today's video, and I hope you found these images interesting, and thank you for watching.